right, uh, I'm going to attempt some freehand video, which is probably a really bad idea because I left the, uh, left the gimbal in the other building, and I've had at least uh, probably a case of uh, Red Bulls to drink since I started this, but uh, I'll give it a shot anyway. So uh, this is the assembly bench here where we put these pieces together, and because we're talking about fuel, which is of course flammable, we need to make sure that this product is safe, uh, and we also need to make sure that this uh, Delta P indicator that we provide to you, uh, specifically for the sake of um, keeping your engine alive, is accurate. And so the first part of the process as we assemble these indicators is to be sure that uh, they're accurate. So this, uh, this little tool here is used to do just that. We uh, place the indicator in there, check it at a few different pressures in the range to be sure that it's uh, within spec before we send it to you. And I have to tell you this has uh, saved our ass a few times already, but this is just part of the uh, part of the process, part of what we need to do to make sure that what we're selling you does what we tell you it's going to do. Now, the other thing is we need to make sure that this doesn't leak fuel all over the place, right? So after we get this fully assembled, we bring it over and put it in this handy little tool where it basically just clamps in place. And we pressurize the entire thing with a gas, which is 95% uh, uh, nitrogen and 5% helium, and then we have a gas sensor. So if there's any helium that leaks past the O-rings, uh, it sets off the sensor, and uh, of course we know that it's leaking. Now, the critical thing to keep in mind here is that uh, if this thing doesn't leak a gas, we're damn sure it's not gonna leak a liquid. And so that's just uh, one of the many steps that we go through to make, uh, make sure that uh, the product is everything that we say it is.